Lesson 41 The Hard Sign. Well, we've covered the soft sign, and now we have to talk about yet another one, which is called the hard sign. Sergey, take us through this and tell us what this particular letter does. Yeah, so just like you said, as with the soft sign, this letter does not have a sound on its own. It only signals the reader that the preceding letter changes its own sound. This one's even a little bit trickier than the soft sign, and it's you will see it less often. This may be the least used letter in the whole alphabet. And it's usually it tells you to pronounce something the way you were going to pronounce it naturally. Anyway. Mm-hmm. It just guards against you accidentally making that consonant soft. Yes, and this may be oversimplifying it a little bit, but my understanding was it used to be used a lot more frequently to indicate hardness of a consonant. Mm-hmm. And over time, they realized it was a little bit redundant. If they use the soft sign, that would indicate that the preceding consonant would be palatalized. And then if they just didn't have a sign, then you would assume it was hard. Right. Okay, so that's a great... And maybe, then it just kind of fell by the wayside and is stuck in a few letters still. Uh, in I'm a, sorry, few, a words. few words that still remain. That's, that's a great point. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. So it sounds like when you see a consonant, you could basically count on it to be hard unless there's a soft sign afterwards. Soft sign or a soft indicating vowel, yes. yeah. Soft or soft indicating vowel. But certain words, just by historical, the, just the way they inv- evolved, mm-hmm. I guess they, they kept the spelling with the hard sign. So for the most part, you don't really have to worry about this letter too much. And yeah, this you, is just you may so see you, it once in a while. but Just so you know what it is when you see it, but you don't have to worry about it too much. 